How's it going everyone? My name is Case and today I am broadcasting to you from my personal garage. The reason being we want to reduce the number of people in the TFL Studios office at any one time. Now the big news for today is that there are four new Kawasaki motorcycles. But here's the weird part. About a month ago Kawasaki released a teaser image of six motorcycles under covers. Now we expected that these were going to be the motorcycles they were planning to release. But then last week, another teaser image came out showing only five bikes undercover. The bike that they dropped from that photo was the old KLR, which was discontinued in 2018. Rather than these teaser images being the bikes that they were going to release, it was instead the outgoing models that were expected to be updated, if that makes any sense. What's actually new are four bikes, the ZH2SE, which is their naked superbike, the ZX10R and ZX10RR, which are some of their sport bikes, full fairing. There's also the new Dual Sport KLX300 and the Supermoto KLX300SM. Both of the KLX300s are going to be covered in a different video, so if that's what you clicked for, go ahead and check out that separate video, which should be uploading in just a couple minutes. First up, we're going to start with the ZX10R and the ZX10RR because those two motorcycles received the most extensive updates for the new model year. First off, Kawasaki updated the 998cc four-cylinder engine. Some of these upgrades are emissions related for Euro 5 compliance, but not all of them. The new engine has an improved intake for better airflow and an improved valve train for better performance at high RPMs. The engine also uses overall lighter and better components developed in part with Kawasaki's World Superbike team. One of the biggest improvements is a new oil cooler which runs independently of the radiator. Kawasaki also revised gearing including the final drive ratio and gears 1 through 3 to make it more snappy for quick acceleration. Most of the emissions related upgrades on this new powertrain come down to the exhaust which still maintains the bike's output of 197 horsepower and 84 pound-feet of torque, so no power is lost as a result of this new Euro 5 compliance. In terms of tech, the ZX10R gets a new TFT display. It's a 4.3 inch color display with Bluetooth, and you can also download an app to monitor your bike. So you can have a riding log that tracks your route, distance and time ridden, including some of the conditions of your ride. You can also adjust some of your motorcycle settings from that app on your phone, including the shift settings and the ride mode, and those will be applied as soon as you turned on the bike next. This new TFT display has all of the typical functions, including speedometer, tachometer, temperatures, but if it's linked to your phone through Bluetooth, you also get a call indicator. The new display also has two selectable modes, one of which is meant more for the road and it just gives you the most basic information that you need at a glance. Then there is also a track setting which displays information graphically and gives you more of those items that are relevant to fast riding on a closed course. Hey everyone, this is Case from TFL Bike with our Ride Smarter Tip of the Month brought to you by Rider Justice. We hope you never get into an accident on your bike, but if you do, do yourself a favor and stay off social media until your claim is settled and you're back to full health. This is even more important if the accident wasn't your fault. Why? Well, you can be sure the insurance company will scour your social media feeds looking for any evidence they can use to lessen your settlement amount or worse, not pay you at all. One innocent post from you claiming, I felt great and I took a walk today, could cost you thousands of dollars. To learn more about how to ride smarter with common sense tips anyone can follow, go to riderjustice.com, the champions of biker rights, on the road, in the courtroom, and now across the country. The 2021 ZX10R also has new riding modes. This includes sport, road, and rain, as well as four custom modes. Using a switch on the left side of the handlebar, you can flip between your different riding modes on the fly, so there's no need to stop in order to change what mode you're in. The ZX-10R features a number of rider aids, including cornering management, traction control, launch control, ABS, and quick shift up and down for clutchless shifts. The ECU will basically 
cut torque as it senses you shifting, and that way you can smoothly go into the next gear without using the clutch. On the subject of handling, the ZX-10R now features an adjustable Olin steering damper. That way you can do all of your low speed maneuvering without the steering damper getting in the way, but at high speed you will get the advantage of having that limited movement. The ZX-10R also uses a new longer swing arm and has an overall longer wheelbase which Kawasaki claims will give you better control over the bike in terms of its handling. The ZX-10R also uses a new front fork from Showa with a wider triple tree clamp which Kawasaki claims will improve comfort and stability. In terms of styling, the ZX-10R gets new fairings, new LED lighting, all the way around and a ram air intake plus some integrated winglets for a little bit of extra downforce. The ZX-10R starts at $16,399 without ABS and if you want to get one with ABS it's going to be an additional thousand dollars so that would be a starting price of $17,399. The race-inspired single-seat ZX-10RR gets all of those same updates but additionally has some further engine modifications. Some of these include a new intake design, new valve springs and a camshaft, and new lightweight pistons with titanium connecting rods. Now, Kawasaki doesn't mention anything about different peak power, but the response should be improved by these lighter internal components. The ZX-10RR also runs Pirelli Super Corsa tires on forged wheels and that's going to be a pretty aggressive setup in terms of grip as it should be because the ZX-10RR starts at a staggering $28,999 which is almost double the $16,399 of the ZX-10R. Next up we have to talk about some of the updates made to the ZH2SE which is Kawasaki's supercharged naked bike. The biggest changes made to the ZH2SE are electronically controlled suspension from Kawasaki. Now of course this electronically controlled suspension has riding modes including sport, road, rain, and rider just like the ZX-10R. Essentially what the system does is it adapts your damping to whatever your riding conditions are and it does so on the fly. So it is a semi-active suspension. And some of those many sensors that are feeding information to the suspension ECU do so every millisecond. The other big upgrade for the ZH2SE are new Brembo Stilema monoblock brake calipers. The Stilema calipers are lighter, more responsive and they cool better which should improve track performance. The H2SE runs Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3 tires so an aggressive setup with 120 millimeters of width in the front and 190 in the rear. The H2 is still using the same supercharged 998 cc four-cylinder engine. Total output from this powertrain is around 200 horsepower and 101 pound-feet of torque. In terms of technology, the ZH2SE gets new LED lighting in front and back, as well as a similar 4.3-inch TFT color display like the one featured on the ZX-10R. The H2SE also lets you select from three different power modes. There is full power mode, then middle, which gives you 75% of your power, and then low, which gives you 50% of your full power. The new ZH2SE will be available in both green and black with a starting price of $19,700, though there is no word yet on availability for either of these bikes, but be sure to stay tuned to tflbike.com and we will let you know as soon as we find out what dates these motorcycles are hitting dealerships. Anyways, that's all for this video. Let us know in the comments what you think of these two new bikes and keep your eyes peeled for a video on the KLX 300 coming in just a couple minutes. We'll see you next time.